Like, if I was, like, 30, 40 minutes, I would not come here. But if I'm, like, 10, 15 minutes uh, or headed down in that direction, I'll go. We went out to Tate's Cheesesteak Bar. Uh, what's that said? Downtown? Um, what's that said? JFK. JF. That's Kennedy Boulevard. Or, yeah, All right, let's get into that oxtail cheesesteak. That's a really tough match. Yeah. No, I'm cool. You don't want to taste it at all? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'll cut it with a kind of little piece. Take a half of it. No, I don't need half. I don't need it. I don't care. You take a half. <laughs> hey, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's why I'm back to go. Mm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about the cheese cake. The ice oh. is good. The ice is good. I don't know how I feel about it as a sandwich, though. I don't, this, so I've only had one other oxtail cheesesteak, and it was from Umi D's, and this is like kind of like a Wendy, this is kind of like braised beef to me, uh-huh. where it's like slow cooked, I mean, I, that's how some people make oxtail, but it's like slow cooked, and it's like pulled, like almost like pulled, pulled like beef, or like pulled pork in a way, I, I don't really, it, it doesn't like seem like a cheesesteak to me, this seems like, it's a whole different type of sandwich, but with Umi D's, I was like, all right, this is still a cheesesteak. This is oxtail, but it's still a cheesesteak. Okay. This seems like this is this is a whole different sandwich. Like a uh, like a brisket sandwich. Yeah, almost. almost. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it tastes good. Like the flavors are good, but it doesn't taste like a cheesesteak to me either. Yeah. Like that's all I can say. <laughs> like I would eat this. I, like I would eat the beef or whatever. Like I can taste a little a little spice in it too. So I, I think there might be one of that little signatures, a little bit of spice to it. But, um, yeah, like, I really don't taste the cheese in this one. And this one I would like to taste some more cheese in because, I don't know, I feel like that will give it more of a cheesesteak flavor. But this joint just tastes like... It actually really does taste like a brisket sandwich. Yeah, like like, yeah a brisket or short rib. Like, so, I don't know all the details, you know, with the different types of beef between oxtail, brisket, and short rib. I don't know the 100% difference, but... Good. I can't really. I was more impressed with the the regular cheese steak. Even though this has really good flavor, my fault. No, I was gonna say I was too, but the other thing I I can't really even taste the peppers or nothing. Um, I know they got peppers, red, green. I don't know what else they put in this, but I can't. I can taste the the oxtail. It's good. Like Matt said, like if it, if the oxtail was what I was eating. <laughs> like, if there was, like, a side of rice or something, I'd be like, yes, this is what I want. But, like, on a sandwich, I already think the oxtail complements the other toppings of the sandwich well. No cheese, no, you can't taste the peppers. It's, it's, it's not as spicy as, um, as I would like it, pref- <laughs> uh, personally, but I think it's a step below the cheese steak, too. I do. So if you want to try something different, check the oxtail out. Like I said, the oxtail is good. You may have a different opinion, you know. It's just, uh, beef is really tender. It's just, for me, flavor-wise on a sandwich, like, it's cool, but like, I would probably rather have it with like some sides. But for the cheesesteak, I actually was like impressed. It wasn't like the best one I've ever had, but to me it had excellent flavor though. I think number for the oxtail, I'd probably go somewhere in there. I'm gonna go like a six. I'd probably go. That's a, that's a, that's at least. I'll probably do what he did for the last one and go three five. It's not because it's bad. It's just because of the combo work and together. Like, it seems criminal. I kind of don't even want to rate it like that because I feel like the flavor is higher than the three five. But I'm eating. All, I'm trying to rate the whole sandwich. So I don't know. It seems criminal to me to call this a cheesesteak. <laughs> there you go. I think more so than it being a bad one or not tasting good, it's the fact that it's just a lot packed into a sandwich. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I would rather have it with some sides. But flavor-wise, I, 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 I put it as like a 3.8, 3.9 flavor-wise. But as a sandwich, I, I got to go like a 3.5 because it doesn't, like, to me, 7 is like... Hey, like, I don't know, I kind of go with the, like, the school scale a little bit. So, 3-5 would end up being a 7. 7 would be C-minus, you know. So, 
my range is between like a regular scale that everybody uses and between a grading scale. So people kind of get a little bit higher grades even when they're average. But it's not because it's high, it's just because to me it's in the C range. But I think it's B, B flavor C sandwich, if that makes sense. I agree. I agree. All right, well, we did our thing. Now, y'all do your thing. Y'all you know saying? Remember to hit that like button, comment, subscribe per the usual. If you enjoyed the video, let us know. You know what I'm saying? You want to see Mac and I? Foodie Life Mac, Young Yon. Make sure y'all check out all the stuff we got. We got plenty of old content, too. Run it back. Peace. Return of the Mac.